Hello everybody, in this video I will show you guys how we can install the Cloud Linux system on the AVS Cloud EC2 server instance. After this I will also showcase how we can port forward all the traffic from the inbound tra um, traffic inside the Kali system to the outside to the external uh, one network. And after this I will also um, configure the beef XSS over one over the cloud basically so hello everybody now we are at the avs panel after you registered with the credit card on your um avs panel so you need the email and also a credit card to get a free tier or also of course you know pay paid monthly but also here we can select the regions. So I've selected Asia Pacific CO in Korea, but you guys can also select something else. But what we want to do is actually integrate the Kali Linux inside the EC2 instance, which is similar like a VPS server, but it's just like a server basically inside the VPC virtual private cloud of Amazon. And now we will scroll down, we will go to launch instance. We will call it AVS Kali Linux. We will browse for the operating systems. Those are the operating systems we can choose from default. But we will choose Kali Linux. So we will go to the AVS marketplace here. It's gonna take a time to load. Right, Kali Linux inside. You select this one. And you guys uh, need to click on subscribe now. So as you guys can see, this is a Kali last snapshot that we got here. I will go down. I will select free tier because I'm, I registered a free one for trial. And here we can make our um, private keys and public keys for SSH access. So I will choose the PEM for open SSH so we can directly connect to the terminal on Linux, Mac, or um, Windows. Else, you guys can also do it for Putty, but I will just do it for normal Linux or like Windows terminal SSH application. I will just call it Linux AVS VPC. After we, we create the key pair, we even get a, it in the download folder basically. And here's some network settings, but I'm not going to go too much into it because I just want to show us how we can install the Kali Linux system. So this is important um, to allow SSH travel from any IP address or like only your IP address range. But we can also make it custom and then we can write um, our subnets from our public IP address, which, which uh, one like can access it. I will just choose my IP and subnet here. So now we go down and click on launch instance. Now we need to wait until it will get ready to be launched. So now we will click on this one. So now we got the AVS Kali Linux instance. The instance that is pending is still like a, a status check. It still need to be done. But as you guys can see, there's the public IPv4 address, the DNS server, availability zone, and then some other information that we got here with the key name. So we can refresh this one and we see the state.
As you guys can see here, it's running. We click on the instance ID. There's the IP address and so on. If we scroll down, we can even see like the subnet ID and much more. And here's, for example, the key pair. So what we're going to do now is actually copy this public IP address. Then we open the terminal. What is it? Administrator on Windows. Then we go to this downloads folder. And we look inside. And as you guys can see here, that's already the key that we can use to SSH inside the EC2 Kali Linux server. If you write the host name as Kali, IP address like this, we just hit enter. And now we are basically inside the AVS Cloud EC2 instance Kalinux shell. Who am I? We can write, for example, Kali. So I'm gonna just write sudo su for, for getting privilege, clear the terminal. And now let's actually update this one. Update the system. To get the latest packages and so on. So after you guys finished, just uh, first of all, if you guys don't know how to continue, just uh, write Y, Y, Y as yes, yes. So I'm gonna keep showing you guys after this update has finished. Right after we finish the update. Let's install Apache 2 web service and also beef XSS as we will be making um, them go for once. So the installation is finished of the Apache 2 and beef XSS, we will configure the beef XSS to go over the cloud, like to the outbound. So we're gonna go to CD, user share, if XSS, sorry. We're gonna list the directory. We're gonna nano to the config jump file. Here we can also configure a password that we need to log in. So I'm gonna make it to just easy, low one two three four five. You guys can make a better password. We believe the host here. So we need to go down. We can also enable HTTPS. A public enable. We also enable this one. These are like the certification keys that you guys can, can configure to basically uh, make the website go over HTTPS. So th this simple beef key isn't really secure, but you guys can carry it with OpenSSL or like, you know, um, buy a certificate from some online domains. And here are some other options like the DNS hostname lookup that you guys can configure. And some other options like uh, events evasions or enabling Metasploit and so on. You guys can either enable it or disable. Up to you guys, but I won't do it. So let's just save this one. So in this clip, we will try to pull forward all the traffic for beef XSS and also with Apache 2. So first of all, we will write security group here for the inbound outbound information. We click on the EC2 future security groups. We go on Kali Linux here. And we scroll down, edit inbound rules. We add about like uh, one, two, three, four, five options. 
first one will be HTTP port 80. We will do 0, 0, 0 subnet because this will be all public IP addresses that can access our link inside externally. We will also do HTTPS because we also enabled Beef to handle HTTPS um, traffic, like have a certificate. And also here we will um, activate the port 3000 for Beef. And here we will enable the WebSocket ports. So if you look at the files configurations of the, the config jam file of Beef, you can see the ports here that we need to actually input inside 61985 oh, sorry eight six don't forget the zeros. So this is how we can port forward the inbound traffic to the outbound. Now we will save the rules. And now we have set it up. So let's see if we can run the beef um, application and let it uh, make it run on the one. So if you're in the directory of user share beef xss, you will do beef start. And as you guys can see, there's a private IP address, but we need the public, so we go back and write the C2 instance, which is our Linux server system. We go the instances running. And we click on our Linux instance. As you guys can see, that's the IP address, the public one that we port forward. So we copy this, replace here. Let's do HTTPS because we enable it right. 3000 UI panel. And then we will write the username. And the password that we um, configured inside the config jump file. Now we have a web panel here. So if we, for example, will open the link here, or let's say here, um, it's public, publicly uh, accessible over the internet. And if we reload this page, we can see the IP address, which is my dynamic ISP um, IP address. Basically, so that's how it works. So there's also like a hook that we can put inside the Apache 2 web server or like any HTML uh, page file, which I will show in the next clip. Beef XSS instance show the Linux system works. We don't disable it, we don't see the ROC, so we keep this terminal open. We're gonna open a different terminal to configure the Apache 2. So SSH again, sorry for the downloads folder, look inside, SSH, I and the, the key of the SSH, Kali, and also the public IP address of course that we need to connect inside. Let's also do sudo su. Let's make this bigger. And now we will go to the directory of the Apache 2. We'll write nano, nano index HTML. Then we can input the code inside here of the, um, let's say, the malicious code, right, from the beef, basically the beef hook. So we will write the source HTTPS and then we will write the public IP address as you can see up there in the link 
six one six two four three thousand of course and then we will uh, do hook javascript and then we will hit ctrl x and yes to save and enter to write clear this let's try the service service apache 2 let's try to start this as we know we forwarded the traffic port 80 which is which is a http okay now if we for example take a public ip address from the ec2 instance and we place this inside here we have the apache um website basically if we for example refresh the browser of the beef we also get a beef hook on the victim as you guys can see here You guys want to include the file inside the JavaScript code nearby the directory of the Apache 2 index page we are putting inside the HTML page. You can also create a new beef JavaScript file. Create the function. Close it up. Our script. With the element then we will create the source which is the hook so close this one up and this one as well and then we will append it on the head of the index page, the HTML page. We can also do body inside here or anything inside the HTML page. Make it a bit like this. Close it up. CDL X, Y, Enter. Now we got this file. Now we're gonna go to the index page. Uh, the index page we need to also include it as a source file. If JavaScript we close the episode. Ctrl X Y enter again. Now we will do service Apache two reload service. Apache 2 restart. And now if we go to this, we try to go to the HTTP page posted by Apache, which lo loads the JavaScript malicious code from the directory. So let's go look and reload. Now we got the victim as well. So it's loaded from JavaScript file code basically, and uh, we don't need to put it inside the HTML page. Pretty simple.